Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Virginia Cavaliers. Number 44 is, provides a real spark to his team as an upperclassman. As a senior player, he knows how to inspire his team without stealing their focus. The Cavaliers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Cavaliers might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Secondly, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Lastly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. They go into the low block. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. The Cavaliers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Misses his first shot. Count it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way and you spin back the other way. Coming inside. On the inside. And up and drains it. Post flasher is open. Now the high screen. Takes it off him. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The frustration right there. The land. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call the six-man for no reason. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Westbrook is emotionally pumped up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Post player flashing. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Here's a double team. He hits it. Down inside. They work it back to the outside. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. They work it around the perimeter. The point guard with the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Ten on the shot clock. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. 
The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you what, I think she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Entry pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The center gets the pass and off the mark. He shoots from downtown, way off target. He hammers it home. Moving it around the perimeter. Now trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Ten on the shot clock. The small forward takes the feed. He drains the shot. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. Trying to feed the low block. Turns it over. The point guard takes the pass. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a double team waiting there. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. the pass in the paint controlling the ball Dickerson comes up with it and a momentary look from three-point land entry pass in the paint for two off the rim and no good that was nice the players are doing a bad job Dick with a double team hey yeah it looks like they don't know what's going on he intercepts it. On the outside. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from long range. That's good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Defense got caught flat-footed again, Brad. Yeah, they might have to talk this thing over. The center gets the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They're working around the perimeter for three. Scorches the net. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay.
Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Goes up for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Oh, what a strip, Rad. There it is, Jam City. They'll work it around the arc. Look at that spacing. There he is, strips the ball loose. They run it up into transition. Barry's at home. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Transition opportunity coming up. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Up and in. He shoots from outside. This one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He looks for three. He gets the bucket to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Thanks, Aaron. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Working it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There's the trap. Another turnover. I'm not talking about the turnovers either. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dickerson makes the finger roll. Takes the pass in the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. They're off into transition. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Steele. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Louisville are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. For two, they still don't score. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two. Gets it to fall. There they come with a double team to stop it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right up. The basket catch for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a mean potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Great anticipation defensively. Jumps in. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Double team now, that angle. Stolen. And again, they look to run. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They scored nine in a row. Tries for two. In and out. He gets the rebound. Right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for contact. Virginia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. to start things up again. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. The group pump fakes. Dickerson picks up the foul. First team foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Side. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Fake. 
Intercepted. Looking for the foul. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Stolen ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, perfectly executed. Oh, we got to replay that one. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense react and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two, and he missed. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. Makes the second shot. Louisville are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Nice fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Wide open for the shot. Steals the pass. He gets the rejection with the fake. High post screen. He drains the bucket. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And he'll kick it back outside. They'll work it around the arc. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He is going to the line. Gets his first. And there they miss one. Grabs it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the circle. Way off target. Time to pick up the defense here now. Got some room. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. The ball goes out of bounds. it. 
Nice high post screen. Gets the rejection. Misses from the outside. At the end of the first half, the Cardinals lead by nine. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? Watch the great work here on the inside for the score. I expect both these teams to do more of the same and continue to pound the ball inside in the second half. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Virginia did a terrible job cleaning the glass in the first half. How many times you and I hear coaches preach about the importance of rebounding the ball on both ends of the floor? I don't know where the players' minds are. Maybe they're thinking about their dates. Dick started the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. He fakes the shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. This is worth the second look. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He looks at the hoop. Puts it up, looking for contact. Goes. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. He attempts to jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Looking for a good shot. Too physical. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Dumps it in and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dump it inside. Takes away the pass. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From left to the circle. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He looks for the bomb. Oh, yes. That's a 9-0 run. 
He shoots from left of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. to the action. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. In the paint for the bucket, the Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Fake. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He unloads a three. There was no doubt about that one. Right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipated really well. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Picks off the pass. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Definitely worth another look, Brad. Spacing. He shoots. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Working it around the perimeter. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Robs him of the ball. Buries it. Gives it up, tries for two, doesn't go. Louisville are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Kicks off the lazy pass. For two, perfectly executed. Let's see the replay on that one. Gave it up. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Great shot. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Get that sucker out of the game, man. With a bucket, the 
Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Sets the screen for his teammate. Nice hops. The Cardinals lead by 20. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And off the mark. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. pick he buries it on the dribble gives it up ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man basket falls despite the contact There's the trap. He takes it away. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. <laughs> Louisville was a longtime member, of course, of Conference USA. Made the jump to the Big East not that long ago. Hey, I don't want to say that the Big East is the better conference, but they do garner that additional attention as a Big East school. He goes with a jump hook. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Buried it. There's a double team waiting there. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. With the freebie. Got it from the free throw line. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Shoots from outside. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. They work the perimeter. Got a wide open look. Outside jumper. Sinks it. Team now, bad angle. 
from three-point land. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. As the crowd continues to chant. Well, ultimately the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it too. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From left of the circle, way off target. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumped in front to take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Cardinals have a mismatch in the post. Can we get them the ball, though? Gave it up. Here's a double team. Let's it fly. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Working around the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Up and inside. Three. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Side. From the top of the circle, he drills it from downtown. For two, they still don't score. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. And in and out. There's the trap. 
He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries the three ball. It sticks. it leans in drops the bucket despite the harm tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move step out on that screener perfectly executed take another look at that play the outside picked off those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters I'll tell you one thing that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball looking to move it around the perimeter picked out of the air on the dribble gives it up Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Intercepted. <laughs> Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. Can't wait to see what unfolds next. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He blocks the shot. Shot clock is dead. Working it around the perimeter. Take some pride on a defensive end. Stolen away. On the inside. Goes up for two. State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Virginia is whipped with authority by this huge blowout loss. They weren't expected to win one, but it looks like they gave